Theme park employees are some of the thousands of people still out of work and struggling to put food on the table. Local food assistance organizations say the unprecedented need in Tampa Bay hasn't gone down, but luckily the community is stepping up to help out. Our 10 News reporter Liz Birch was there today as volunteers packed up thousands of meals for families in need and tells us about how the community is coming together. Found out that a lot of children and many families that they don't have food. When well-known philanthropist Bill Edwards found out that thousands of kids need food, it hit close to home. Even myself as a child, a very big family, many, many a night we went to bed hungry. He's the CEO of the Edwards Family Foundation, which just donated $100,000 to Meals on Wheels to feed thousands of families. I can't imagine any child or any person going hungry when there's food available. Since the Duke Energy Center of Mojave Theater is sitting empty, they decided to use the space for volunteers to pack up that food today. And the need is great across Tampa Bay. A Tropicana Field Feeding Tampa Bay did their meal distribution, saying they're meeting a demand that is far higher than before the pandemic. We've seen 400 plus percent increase in requests for food. And they say that need hasn't decreased. Yeah, you know, it's really kind of bittersweet because we know that uh, a lot of folks who need us now have never needed food relief before, have never experienced this kind of an economic challenge in their lives. But it's great to know that we can meet that need. Meals on Wheels will begin distributing those meals early next week. You can find more resources on our website, WTSP.com.